Alrighty, what's up, y'all? We got here, I'm going to do this example problem on relative motion of two particles. And in this problem here, I got a car A over here that I, I drew very nicely uh, that moves on a circular path with a radius of curvature of 100 meters. That's shown right there. And at the instant, right here, this angle is 45 degrees. Car A is moving at a speed of 10 meters per second. And what we know is that velocity is always tangent to the path. So that right here is 10 meters per second. And this angle right here, if I, if I draw a horizontal line right here, I know that this angle is 90 right here. So this has to be 45 degrees. 45 degrees, which means the velocity of A has a magnitude of 10 meters per second at an angle of 45 degrees in that direction, okay? And uh, it's increasing its speed at 5 meters per second squared, okay? And so here, what that means is that, you know, when a car increases its speed, its acceleration from the motor that, you know, when you push the gas right here, it can only be tangent to the path that acceleration that the car contributes right here. So here, I would have the tangential direction if I use an NT coordinate system. So here, let me let me bust out my NT coordinate system. Here's my, my plus T direction, and my plus N always points towards the center of curvature right there for that path. So I have my plus N and normal and tangential components, and my acceleration right here is gonna be here. This acceleration, this AA, the tangential component, is equal to 5 meters per second squared, also at an angle of 45 degrees relative to the horizontal. Okay, so that car is, you know, increasing at 5 meters per second squared, right there. And then the car B is just moving on a straight path, as straight as that can, drawing can be, at 18.5 meters per second, and then it's accelerating at 2 meters per second squared. So you know, when you do the problem, you should, you know, I'm sure your, your instructor tells you, hey, make sure you have the given and the fine statements. That way you know what you're doing, what you're looking for. So here, I didn't even write that down, what the fine statement is. So I'm going to tell you right now. So what we're given here is uh, um, that the velocity of A is uh, 10 meters per second at an angle of 45 degrees. And then the, the uh, velocity of B is... 18.5 meters per second straight across. The acceleration, what we do know is that the tangential acceleration of A is equal to 5 meters per second squared at an angle of 45 degrees, and then the acceleration of B is equal to uh, 2 meters per second, and that is also uh, horizontal. Okay, so car B is also accelerating here. And what we need to find in this problem, find, find, in this problem here, what we'd like to know is the relative velocity of A with respect to B and the acceleration of A with respect to B. Okay? And what I'm going to do is, for the velocity part, I'm going to use kind of the scalar solution, if you will. The, uh, I'm going to go through and I'm going to use law of cosines and law of sines and, and kind of draw out a triangle and things. And then for, for the acceleration part of it, I'm going to do a vector solution. Okay, that way you can kind of see both. But you can do it either way for, for the velocity or the acceleration. And if you have that special request, you know, if I get enough special requests, I'll, I'll do it you know, the velocity in both ways too later on. But but here, let's start with the velocity one, okay? So here, you know, the key is that I know the velocity of A and I know the velocity of B. So here, let's, let's uh, solve for velocity. The first thing, solve for, for V, A, B. So that's what we're going to target first right here. But, you know, I have, I have a couple rules that I, I like to do, okay, to find the relative velocity. I want to take these vectors, V, A and V, B, off the board, if you will, or off the computer screen, um, and and take them off, let them float, and grab them, and bring them together by touching their tails. So that I have here, I will have here, I have this, bam, VB, right here, 
Okay, moving at 18.5 meters per second. And I have the acceleration of A, touching their tails together of A at 10 meters per second here. VA, this is VA at 10 meters per second at an angle relative to the horizontal of 45 degrees, which tells me that this angle right here is 45 degrees. And so now I want to I want to complete that that equation, that vector formula, if you know the vector formula here, and I want to know the relative velocity of a from or with respect to b. So the relative velocity of a with respect to b. Okay. So each of these terms here have something, and that means that my vector here, that that v a b, is representative by the velocity of a with respect to b. So from b to a, bam, right here. So this is the velocity of a with respect to b, okay, 2a from b if you want, okay, 2a from b. And that's what we're going to solve for right here. And uh, um, let's go, 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 okay, so I know the velocity or the magnitude of each of these vectors right here, right here. I know the magnitude of the vector a and the magnitude of b, and I want to find the magnitude of a, b, okay, v, a, b. So here... Um, I can use the law of cosines, so I'm going to use the law of cosines, law of cosines, to find the magnitude of this opposite side. So I have here, um, the, the law of cosines is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of the angle when the triangle looks like this. This is theta, this would be c, and this would be a and b here. Okay. So in this case here, my law of cosines would be v, the magnitude of a b squared is equal to v a squared plus v b squared minus 2 times v a times v b times the cosine of the angle opposite of what I'm looking for of 45 degrees right here. And so that's just uh, um, you know, VAB squared is equal to uh, VA, which is 10 meters per second. Don't forget your unit. Don't be ghetto. All right. 10 meters per second squared plus VB squared, which is 18.5 meters per second squared minus 2 times 10 meters per second times 18.5 meters per second. The cosine of 45 is the square root of 2 over 2. Yes. And, uh, uh and here, if I if I just you know I, if I plug and chug into my calculator, and I got that this thing right here is 180.62 meters squared per second squared, and then I got to take the square root of that to get VAB, which is 13.44 meters per second, and that is the magnitude of my relative velocity of a with respect to b. Um, but that's not enough to describe the vector VAB. I need a, I have the magnitude, now I need the direction. So I, you know, what I really need is this angle right here. This angle is, would be nice to get right here. I'll call that beta right here. And so what the, the, thing, the other thing I want to use is the law of sines, okay? Law of sines, okay? And the law of sines, and then the law of sines is just, um, you know, we have this relationship that uh, if I have a triangle here, like this, and we have here alpha, beta, and gamma, and this is A, B, and C. You know, we have sine alpha over A is equal to sine beta over B is equal to sine gamma over, um, over uh, whatever it is, over C, okay, over C. So I, I can apply the same, you know, these are just a bunch of ratios. Sometimes you might see it the other way, like A over sine alpha, B over sine beta, and C over sine gamma, whatever. Okay, so here, this this stuff right here, apply it to my, my triangle here. And let me do this in, uh, uh, let's do, I don't know, let's do fancy color, let's do purple. Okay, so here, this, in terms of law of sine, so I have this, let's see, I know the sine of 45 degrees over VAB, of which I just found the magnitude of, is equal to the sine of beta over 10 meters per second, or VA, 
VA right here. And I know that magnitude is 10 meters per second. And I know this magnitude is 13.4 meters per second. And if I just do the, um, the simple calculation and do the in inverse sign, I will get beta is equal to 30, oh, 31.74 degrees. And make sure you got your calculator in degree mode when you do this calculation. Okay, for inverse sine right here, 31.74 degrees right there. And what that tells me for my final answer, what that tells me is that my velocity of A with respect to B equals 13.44 meters per second with a relative, I'm sorry, with an angle of 31.74 degrees relative to the horizontal. All right. So in part two, I'm gonna do the acceleration. All right, all right. So let's let's let's. Uh, I'll see you back in part two. Later.